job number one. <laughs> this job number two. Oh, <laughs> uh, and thank you. I needed that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had mine before, like lockdown as well, but more in lockdown. Yeah. So I haven't had it yet. <laughs> Yeah, but yet, being <laughs> yet being the keyword. So it was very challenging for me because I was like, that is not something you can mess up. Yeah. You know, that's not something that can look like it's put on. It was very challenging. I, I like it when, when in the trailer, in fact, he says that, you know, uh, when Dimple says that, why are you so weird? And and uh, he just says, because it, comes, it stems from a lot of... So this is like uh, a, a beautiful scene. And um, that was like, in fact, my last day of shoot. After a long day at work, all you need is mismatch to 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 have a fun uh, end to a day. And I, th I guess what? I'm joined by the cast here, right here on India today. Welcome firstly, Prajakta, Vihan and Sanjana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us. Mismatch 2, I like the title in itself. I mean, I, I lapped on when the first season came in and uh, I was genuinely waiting for the first, uh, second season to come in. And now that it is here, firstly, I want to understand when the first season came and the reception that you got. Were you prepared for that kind of reception, firstly? Not at all. We did not expect it. None of us expected it. I feel like we got so busy and having fun while shooting it. And we kept pushing the processing part of it to, Achha, we'll see no, when it releases. It's And it took a long time to come out, honestly. Um, but we had not expected it at all. Do you have a nervous energy now though? That second, because now the expectations are there. I can tell you that for sure. Because now people are like, oh, the first season was good. So probably the second season is going to be better. Do you feel that pressure though? I'm nervous about it coming out and I hope it's good. From what I, f I remember, I, I, I think I did, we all did pretty well to be quite honest and the writing was also so much better and X, Y, Z. Uh, but we didn't let it affect our performance, I feel like, because the energy we brought in in season one is the energy we have to retain uh, when playing the same characters. So nervousness is that it should be good, but it should be I have gotten opportunity to watch at least a few episodes. So I can tell you that I was immersed. I wanted to know what next and how this entire journey is going to be. But Sanjana, for you, you are a new addition to this, I am. To this uh, you know, ensemble. I want to understand, was it difficult to... Because they already know each other. They are well acquainted with their characters and the camaraderie that each character shares with the other. For you, it was a different dynamic altogether. What was that like? The first day, in fact. Uh, the first day, I think, um, the first day, I think we had, um, uh, I met uh, Prajita and Rohit uh, during the fittings day and Prajita has this amazing vibe. I, I think she just brings this like contagious, positive, happy, like really like, you know, uh, energy and uh, I've told her this you know, many times and even in interviews I've mentioned it. I, I'm a huge fan of hers and uh, like honestly, it's not like, it's honestly because of some of the content she puts out. I like personally related to like so much and I was so excited to meet her. And, I, and uh, in fact, uh, no, they didn't. It, I was like, it was a mixed bag of feeling nervous and excitement at the same time. And yeah, they made me feel at home. Like everybody, Vihan, Rohit and uh, I wish I had more scenes with them in fact, but I wish I so really too, yeah. did. Uh, but uh, off screen though, like uh, they real. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I felt I, I felt like I've known a couple of them like all my life. It really felt like that. It definitely felt like you know a family working together and uh, something magical happened because of that. I mean, at least personally for all of us, we yeah. felt like magic happened because of the way we all bonded. Yeah. And they really made it very easy for me and comfortable. And you know, I. Loved, love them for that, yeah. <laughs> on screen, there was a lot of intense staring, but off screen, there was a lot of... <laughs> like, musty and fun. We just, or, like, start laughing every time cut happened. Yeah. Off screen, there was a lot of hugs and comfort and warmth. Yeah. Yes, for sure. I think that is the reason why it reflects. So, I mean, that balance is important, right? If there's uh, intensity on screen, then yeah. it needs to be... Uh, the atmosphere needs to be light off screen. But also from first season, the second season, like he said, the, the arc has become more intense. While in the first season, we had coffee being thrown on each other and things were pretty light comparatively yeah. was it a shift for you also as a ca as characters because you remember your character from a place where they were in in the process of having that big change in life yeah. in second season they are they are processing it, you know. Um, was that difficult in the beginning at least? I mean definitely challenging for sure because I feel like uh, although I don't think I ever disconnected or detached myself from Dimple, but still when I came to season two, I realized that there's so many things about her that I didn't know 
although I've lived with her for so long now. I mean, it's been three years yeah. since we started shooting the first season. Um, For example, oh my God, it's been three years. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, lock, lockdown हुआ था ना बीच में. I think we have all just Forget tried to that erase time. that. Yeah. <laughs> so like when I started, there's this one particular scene I think in the first episode where Dimple has a panic attack, and I didn't know all these all these months that Dimple had a history of having panic attacks when she goes under pressure uh, before exams. I did not know that. Having said that, I have never in my life had a panic attack. So I had my first one in, in lockdown actually. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I've had mine before, like lockdown as well, but more than lockdown. Yeah. yeah. So I haven't had it yet. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> yet being the key word. So it was very challenging for me because I was like, that is not something you can mess up. Yeah. You know, that's not something that can look like it's put on. It was very challenging, honestly. But that's where Akash and Gazal and Dilshad, who's Akash's wife, also who works very uh, broadly around mental health yeah. and awareness about it, came in to help me with these things, and I was very grateful for that. Um, I had never, in season one. I knew that Dimple has fallen in love, but I had not seen her fall in love. Like I just saw that something switched on that non-date, and then it was there. But when you see the Dimple Harsh track, you actually see her slowly, steadily, kind of moving away from her heart break and moving away from her regret and her mistakes to actually falling in love with someone who's been there. So there's a lot that is new, but it still feels very familiar. It's like it's like. It's like you know how you know a book, but in the first season, I just read the, the cover. Stages. Yeah, just I just read the cover, and now I'm on like chapter fifteen. <laughs> wow, that's actually quite a yeah. good metaphor. <laughs> but Vyan, for you as well, I mean your character. I mean in the first season, of course, we knew that Harsh is. A particular guy. He's kind of a weirdo, actually, in the first season. Okay. <laughs> if I have to, if All I have to put it up. <laughs> Let's stop roasting Harsh. <laughs> Poor guy. You know, uh, I I like it when when in the trailer, in fact, he says that you know, uh, when Dimple says that, why are you so weird? And and uh, he just says because it comes, it stems from a lot of years of trauma. Years of trauma. Uh, but also the fact that you have to channel and visualize and probably get to the core to understand why. uh harsh is behaving a certain way was that challenging for you well, how did you cope up with all of that yeah actually um i mean uh, with character studies of course you need to always find that base that you go off of so that deciding that was very important because in season 1 we decided things and we have to decide the same things the same core for season 2 but he's progressed so like adding new layers to him and finding out more about him what i find really cool about mismatched and our set is that we also improved a lot so there was a lot of room for our personalities to kind of also give us certain moments and certain like glimpses line. we the line was actually improvised uh, it wasn't in the script uh, years of trauma we just felt uh, funny to say like even dimples line wasn't like yeah, it wasn't yeah. supposed to be a follow up yes. at all that whole wow. moment yeah. was improvised well, because interject even band tribe right <laughs> hand drive yeah. yes yes that whole thing is a different story i mean all that like just came up organically in conversations on set um just to put it shortly like the scene was supposed to end once we uh, once i console her and but then those they kept rolling and there was a moment where i kept looking at her and then because i was struck and then she looked at me and she like why are you looking at me i said nothing nothing and i just we did that thing and i looked back at her and then then she said like why are you so weird and then i said all that Um so I think that's also beautiful when you can just really get in the skin of the character and yeah. take it to a, a different place. Uh so yes it's important to stay true to the character but it's also nice to take it to a different place. Wow. And you know what I like before I come to Sanjana actually what I like about mismatch is the fact that on the surface like you said it is supposed to be a light hearted very like fun going which it is by the way but also there are layers to the character which a lot of people might think yeah but you know fluff may usually people don't look for layers in characters but that i like that they have certain layering through the characters which you we like to like sort of unravel as audiences you got a sneak peek you got an appetizer now you get the main course oh, wow and i, I can't wait I for can... dessert <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Sanjana, for you, I mean, you know, because like I mentioned, for you have seen the show, you know the arc a bit, right? So for you, was it easy to pick up from pick up the new character, or to know, or to understand where other characters are coming from? Like, what was your process like for you, for your? Uh... Um, of course, like uh, when I auditioned, I uh, sort of got like um, you know vibe of the character, and uh, and but I 
owe like everything to AK sir, the director, because he sort of like really made me, you know, understand Sunny in a way that I never imagined I would. He made it. He made me feel so easy, and he so. And what the best thing about sir is that he um sort of um connects your real life personality and sort of uh adds that on as a layer. to the character and you know uh, that sort of help that uh, whole groundwork and just him being there as like a, this beautiful like mentor and you know like, he's just amazing and think it's oh guys i'm like losing we love you AK. yeah we love you ak so you, AK. It's, it's like i owe it to him completely and um, yeah when i watched season when i watched season 1 i i uh, saw it after uh, like when i had covid and i'd auditioned before that and immediately after i auditioned i uh had uh, contracted covid and then that's when i saw mismatch for the first time and you had, so when you auditioned for the role yeah. you had not watched the first season no i hadn't watched the first oh. season but i've heard about it a lot and i've heard like great reviews about it but i i really didn't like you know not because i didn't want to watch it i think i just didn't like now she is trying to like <laughs> no 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 it's not that like i'm being very like genuinely honest about it but i really wanted to watch it but uh, i think covid gave me the right opportunity to like sit and actually watch it so uh, it, and i loved it and i love heartwarming like sweet wholesome shows and i was hoping okay i was praying i was like you know i really really wish i get this part because i want to be a part of this uh, beautiful show and then i think i manifested it in some way and it happened oh. it really happened and uh, the it's been a beautiful journey. journey and uh, i'm usually very over critical as an actor i mean from my experience and i think after this uh, playing this character and just being with everybody and um, you know having these uh, interactions with all these great people i feel like i sort of like you know uh, discovered a side but you know what okay like you know i i i am here because they saw something in me and you know something is a little right. yeah right yeah so i feel like yeah it's just been like a whirlwind of emotions and uh, fit in very well yeah thank you so much thank you so i'm yeah, very happy that this process happened and by the way i had like seven to i had like six rounds of auditions before i actually got <laughs> the part yeah i'm not yeah, i didn't know this which six rounds yeah i did like couple of them were from like self test and then a uh, few of them were in person and yeah but teen bar self test bhej ke uske baad then yeah. you finally get to meet them yeah My wow. God! Yeah, that was so. This wow. quite big. That was like very, very special to me. And the moment I got it, I was like, okay, wow, okay, you know, now I really. It's all worth it. This. It's worth it. It's definitely worth. It's more than worth it. So yeah, it's been a like a I would say like a life changing experience in my career in a way. Yeah. And I hope that once it releases for the audiences to see. Everyone gets the due, especially you. After six auditions, you definitely yes. yeah, like five to six. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> yeah, five to six <laughs> easily. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Prajakta, coming to you, I want to firstly congratulate you. Thank I you. I mean, uh, the kind of year you have had, incredible. Thank you. Loved you in Jug Jug. I Thank felt you that. So much. Uh, I mean, there were moments when I. I saw you evolve also as a as an actor on screen because of course mismatched first season was your debut yeah. uh, as an actor and now I mean second season is here and you've already been part of so much different content that that's been happening but how has if you had to assess your your as an actor itself how has it been honestly I couldn't be I I couldn't ask for a better uh, year you know uh, I mean honestly the year started with. Uh, us finishing jug jug that we were shooting it for a long long time finally got done um then it went into me shooting another very interesting film uh then i came back to jug jug releasing as soon as i could kind of try to process that mismatch i it's, it's just uh, it's crazy it's mad um it's i'm very grateful i'm very happy i love my life this is uh, a dream i've had and i'm living it and i wouldn't ask for anything else but having said that i don't know if i can ask assess uh my acting because i don't know any better you know this morning they asked me am i self critical of my performance i would be but i don't know any better you know it's not like i've done this for so long and you can be you can criticize something when you have a better perspective right. i don't have any so maybe that's why it looks organic Yeah, like maybe if I, I mean I don't know. Maybe after a few years of I, I'm also very new to it, so maybe after a few years of working, maybe when I know better, uh, I'll look at mismatch and be like, oh, I could have done this better. But जब मैंने वो करा तब से लेके अब तक मेरी समझ उतनी भी कुछ evolve नहीं हुई है कि मेरे पास better हो तो 
uh, I don't know if I can assess it. I think the audience. I'm gonna let the audience and my director tell me that because, well, they they have. They are the judge. Yeah. The final judges always. Yeah. So I just want to say that uh, in, in I I've not told you this, but in season one, I was talking to someone in casting who we know very well, and uh, <laughs> I was just asking like, so what do you think? Uh, you know, how, how did I do? This that it was my it was my first show as well, so I was asking a bunch of questions. And she said, "Yeah, yeah, you're very good. This is very good, amazing." But I have to say one thing: Prajakta has stolen the show. <laughs> oh yeah, has stolen the show. Even in from real life, everyone. Uh, and I agree. It she, it, you know, for someone this was your first show. It just seemed like you were super natural and just so yeah. tuned in, like you had years of experience, which you also do. a uh, playing characters yeah. so it felt like you, you she settled in really well and really like she had that confidence when going to every single scene yeah. and that has only increased in season 2 i've i've personally so i've noticed a difference because i've done so many scenes with you um the, the energy you bring in in the in the scenes is improved you know yeah. what i find in no so so go ahead oh. actually i would like to add to that as well this i don't think i've told praju but there's one particular scene where i was just like Like spellbound. Uh, I I don't know if the show is coming out like later. Okay, after the show release, after the series comes the, out. The interview you mean? Is yeah, the interview. Uh, no, on the day. Of on the, okay, day. so this is like uh, a a beautiful scene, and um, that was like in fact my last day of shoot. But I obviously didn't want to uh, leave so soon, so I was um, uh, sitting and watching. I was I, I was with Vihan. I don't know if you also remember this, but I was sitting and watching this really emotional scene of Prajakta and. Uh, uh and i was spellbound i was speechless and i was like oh i was like oh my god and i i got a complex i was like did i perform that well was i as good as that like honestly but that that scene like you know stole the show for me scene. can i say it now yeah, yeah. that uh, wedding scene you no know, when muskan comes and you find oh, out oh yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. scene was yeah. i was that like, was amazing I, i was my jaw dropped i was like wow okay so she blew me away in that scene lot of she auditions karate ye standard yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> so she set the bar dude like she's like set the bar. i'm not and yeah honestly like that was like the best yeah, scene that was me. that was a really good scene and i was so happy i got to see it live like honestly yeah, yeah. thanks friends <laughs> i feel i am स्पीचलेस राइट स्पीचलेस या बहुत ज्यादा दोस्ती यहाँ पे दिख रही है बट बट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड आई मीन यू नो ऑल्सो बिकॉज वाइल योर एक्टर्स एंड यू बॉन्ड रियली वेल ऑन सेट यूर ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट बींग लाइक यू नो प्रूव being better and you know evolving yourself so i think it kudos to you all for even saying that you liked her so much and she she's probably the best thing um uh, in the show There's but no mismatch without dimple yeah I mean, yeah but like i think i think um, you know thank you i was uh, having it's been a slightly rough day with with like my other job job number 1 <laughs> 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 this job number 2 <laughs> uh and thank you I needed that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you know, I feel like, and everyone, I think here or anyone in the cast will agree to this: that you could reach set in any any mindset, mind frame. You could reach set in any mood. Yeah. You could reach there prepared, or you could reach there under prepared, or over prepared, or nervous, or excited. But when you are on your mark, and Akash is directing you. the only thing that you think about is the direction that's been given to you which is so crystal clear yes. there is nothing left for interpretation but still there is space for improv mm. so when you get such clear direction as to tu yahan pe khadi hai tujhe yahan se nikal ke hypothetically you have to hit that mark in the emotion and that's where we cut the scene when it's so made so easy for you mm. i Honestly, did not ever imagine. I always wanted to act. Yeah. I loved it. I mean, I grew up a very filmy kid, but I never imagined I would hear things like this. I had not, and I think that goes to our. That's life. Project. Yeah. It surprises yeah. us, and it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But I also want to understand. I mean, the what I like about Mismatch too is the right balance between professional and personal life that they have maintained. I mean, you see a love angle which is wonderful, but also, I mean, equal importance to the professional side to it. Um, in real life, I want to understand how do you, all of you, in fact, balance the professional and personal, especially in today's time when everything, the line, the the lines are very blurred. You know, you don't sometimes the bal balancing is a myth. I feel in today's time, how do you manage to do that? Um, oh, you wanna go? 
I think uh, you need a really um, strong support system, I would say, A. Um, you know, it's good to have people who support you and back you up and are there in your corner understanding what you do and you know understand yourself also as a person and of course it's your profession and I feel like uh, for me my work doesn't feel like work yeah. it it's like I, I mean it doesn't feel like work I, I, I look forward to it I like wait for it and uh, uh, and that's just something that I mean like and you know like shooting though like it happens you ha- you shoot for like a temporary period of time maybe like for a month or two and after that till the next project you are back to your personal life and then the next project comes up right so i i think yeah it's important to have the right mindset and a really good support system to understand what you do and where you come from yeah so i think that's important yeah. do you have anything to add i i just feel like empires are built with time and help and um, if you want to go to a certain place you're not going to do it without giving it some time and people who understand you yeah. and uh, know what you're going through and i just like to sometimes check in with myself and uh, and check in when i've had the last time i spent time with my friends and the last time i spent time with my family and just keep a track and just you know think maybe i should you know yeah takes a little bit more time out for them i just like to do small things like that Cute. I think sometimes the smallest things yeah. matter for you, Prajakta, because you are sort of like like you mentioned first all over the place. Job, <laughs> third job, there are too many yes, jobs. See. So how's it going? <laughs> How you doing? Right, this is a bit That's true, though. Um, <laughs> how do I do it? I don't. You know. No, can I just say? I, sorry, I really want to. I've said this in every interview. we go to set on mismatched okay we shoot from morning to night i get done in the evening she still shooting because she's dimple and dimple has the most scenes yeah. okay and she's <laughs> she's dimple and and she has to bechari has to stay on set and then she comes back from set aur youtube ka kaam shuru ho jata hai aur hum bhi dekhte hain ki wo itna kaam kar rahi hai fir uske baad she chills and hangs out with us also and has a good time also and chats with us until the late night i'm i'm out like a yeah. like a dada ji by like you know 11 o'clock 12 o'clock she's still going yeah. and she sleeps also and comes to set fresh Her battery is always, she's, and she's dressed up properly also yeah. the next day. Yeah, I'm coming in t-shirt and shorts, and she's like properly wearing full nice pants and all. I'm like, what's going on here? Her battery is always charged. I'm please, sorry please, for the pants. Please tell me, <laughs> please tell me, what's going on here? Her battery is always charged. Yeah, I think you know, I like I said, I love my job. There is nothing that motivates me more uh, to wake up every day. uh than doing what i do for a living and i live for it i love it it has brought me a lot of happiness it's brought my family a lot of happiness my friends uh it's got stability in my life it's given me independence it's given me confidence and i owe a lot to my job and my life right now um <clears throat> having said that i never put myself only i think in a position where i felt like i was i had to kind of figure shit out immediately as to how do i manage this i make a lot of mistakes and i keep falling flat on my face and then learning dusting myself up walking back again because i don't think there's any other way i learn how to manage this crazy life of mine that i wouldn't have any other way um have also i'm very conscious at all times i'm making this these mistakes but i know exactly what the consequences are and i'm prepared for them most times Oh that's actually a very brave thing to say. Uh so I'm okay with not having it figured out. I'm okay with not knowing how I manage my professional and my personal life. I'll figure it out on the way. Because just like dimple, just like dimple. <laughs> But thank you so much. I hope uh, that season two also reaches to a thank lot you. of people. Thank I know you. the first season even trended on the global list and everything. Yeah. So I hope the second season thank does you. equally well. Thank you so much. And Cheers to third season. I know it is yes, coming. Yes, please. Amen to so that. Much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.